goodness, that started a bit early. I <laughs> oh, when you accidentally push the start button and you're not quite ready. You'll love that. Uh, hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV, uh, the show that prematurely puts Glen ZB up your periscope. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world, and the world to New Zealand. It's a bouncy stall, isn't it? Um, now, I, I'm starting to wonder if Trump has a point and if CNN is just like the home of fake news because I was a bit confused this morning when Becky Anderson on, on CNN this morning got a sledgehammer out to emphasise her point. She's, she's become a... I know that I, there's prop comedians that make jokes with props but I didn't realise there's prop news anchors as well. So she's got a sledgehammer and then she got a... A little hammer as well. I don't know. I know I was so dismayed that this was happening. I didn't actually understand what the point was. Something to do with Trump's immigration policy announcements between last week's one and this week's one. But CNN, really. So, did it, I just I, I wanted to know how that happened. Did she come in saying, like, I've had this great idea, I want to make my point, go and find me a sledgehammer and a little hammer, right now. And they went and did that. Went to the local Abu Dhabi, that's where she broadcast from, the, their Mitre 10 or their Home Depot or whatever it was. And I don't know what's happening. But in saying that, so you might have a point about CNN, Donald, but I think there's there's one small flaw in your theory about Obama tapping your phone calls. It's just one little flaw. Why would he want to do that when you tweet everything you're thinking as you think it? Like, what is it? What could he possibly be hoping to find out? He already knows everything that you're doing by reading your Twitter feed. I sometimes feel like Twitter... Like, Trump's addicted to it in the same way that Nick Willis is addicted to internet porn. Sorry, was addicted to internet porn. I'm sure he's all better now. Uh, I, this is a great... Now, if you're fighting the war in Mosul, if you're, you know, part of the Iraqi security forces in Mosul, I think you are encouraged to know that the guy in charge of the US Air Force who's dropping bombs around your positions, that his name is Colonel John L. Dorian. That's, that's, I'm not taking any shit kind of a name. I mean, you don't want him to be Wendell Forsyth or something like that. You know, Cecil Forthington. You know, that, that wouldn't work. But John L. Dorian is going to get the job done. So that's inspiring stuff. It's taking a bit long. It's a bit wet. It's a bit rainy. Uh, so like a cricket match, that's going to cause delays, unfortunately. Speaking of cricket, wow, the segues are just naturally happening today. Should really stop calling attention to them. Uh, I, I, I've been confused by the one-day series against the South Africans. Uh, we won one quite easily. They won one very easily. Uh, we won one quite easily. They won one quite easily. And then yeah, they, they, then they win the, the final one really easily. It's, um, I don't know what's going on. And then I think, hang on, it's cricket. I know exactly what's going on. Right, bookies in Pakistan and India? Just saying. When it's a confusing result with the cricket... There's really only one conclusion to jump to, isn't there, these days? I am Glenn ZB. Sorry to leave that episode of Glenn ZB TV on such a depressing note. But I am that cynical guy from... Newstalk ZB. Thanks so much for having me up your periscope. I will see you back here again tomorrow. <laughs>